Good morning, my name's Liz, part of the leadership at Ashford Vineyard, and today is Thursday the 14th of May, as far as I know. How are you doing? If you're anything like me, you're finding this week particularly tough. I prefer the certainty, the certainty of going into lockdown I could embrace, but the uncertainty of what's coming next I find really difficult. A few days ago, I was chatting to a good friend of mine and we were talking about hairstyles. Neither of us had a haircut before lockdown and both of us went through a time where our hair was neither one thing or another. But she very wisely said that once we'd got over that time, we emerged into something new. Both of us have got completely new hairstyles. Mine's getting longer and I can even put it up in a ponytail and I'm not showing you that. But her message was... But as we go through these difficult times, there is hope for something new. So much more than just a new hairstyle. And this week I've also been reading Psalm 23 again. I've tended to avoid it because I know it so well, but it turns out I didn't know it well at all. I always thought God promised that he would be with me in the hard times in Psalm 23, but he doesn't. He says something rather different. He says, I will guide you through the valley of the shadow of death, and you will fear no evil. My rod and my staff will comfort you, and I will lay you down beside still waters. I will be there with you. So whatever we are going through, we should know that he promises he will be in it and with us and will lead us through. This time will not be forever. There will be a newness to come. And it might just be better than it was before. I hope you will stay well. And I invite you today just to read Psalm 23 again. Thank you.